But uh, before I show you what it looks like, Lewis, who is a buddy of mine from uh, DNW, the uh, clan that I'm a part of, suggested that I make an X34 land speeder. Now, when I first thought about it, I was like, I don't know if this is going to be, if it's going to actually work, because you have to somehow get it to hover, and then get the shape and the design and stuff. Well, the cool thing is, is that since they added in the ability to have different power on the thrusters, it actually works out relatively well, because you can, you know, set these ones at a higher thrust, these ones are a little bit lower, and it still moves, and that's to compensate for the weight, and then when these are, like, going through the air, essentially, and the power that's getting pushed through them when, when I'm actually using WASD, it's allowing me to uh, counteract the different thrust power back here by having these a little bit higher so that when it starts to dip down, this compensates and pushes it back. And then this one is just for show, really. It doesn't have hardly any thrust power. And that, and, and I was actually shocked. I thought I was going to be making this for a couple hours, but this took me about... 10 minutes to make actually and yeah it doesn't look like it but it actually works which is the most which is the biggest thing so first of all it hovers secondly it turns and so and then when we hit w you know when we hit w to go forward the only thing is that you can't take too sharp of turns or that happens and it's actually you know pretty quick um i don't know what happened right there Oh, it's because this is not, f this is, this is called flat terrain, but it's actually not that flat, which is unfortunate. It is, uh, a little rocky. And so you kind of hit some bumps here and there. So, you know, you can't, you can't turn around and stuff. It is pretty quick. Um, now, the one thing I thought about trying is changing the angle of these. So, this is at 30s, and so I wonder if we make it less let me just try this I don't know if this is gonna work I wanna get like a lower oh wait we went the wrong way shoot so that obviously is not working um, I need to go 45 that's what I was my bad the other way out cuz I was wondering if we can get this to be even more flat to the ground and if that's gonna make any difference so now hmm now it's not moving at all because it's not hovering enough so I think to get it to work we need to put it back to where it was unfortunately I'd have to probably change the the design of the thing because it was actually ridiculously easy and then once you got the weight down the weight like balanced it was nah see that's the only problem man this freaking flat world is is not very flat it's really unfortunate actually maybe we can like make make a platform or something. Eh, it's gonna take forever. Yeah, that's the only thing. It's like, th don't call this world flat if it's not actually flat. Pretty sure that I made it look as close to it as I, as I possibly can. So now, this is the only thing, is that once it gets up like this, because it's censored, it doesn't, I mean, it doesn't obviously look like the X-34, because you can't, uh, the top part does. Stupid flat world. Um, you know, but in order to get it to hover, I was going to try to do like a center hidden hover thing, but there's really no way to do that um, to get it to work effectively. So, it turns it turns well. I like that it can turn that well. And, you know, I like the fact that it still gives you the look that, it, that the top one's working, even though it's at the, like, the lowest possible setting. Now, I think that I could actually... What if I did this? What if I... Um, what if I up these to three? And then I up this. What if I just kind of calibrate it one at a time? Because this should lift off the ground a little bit more now. See, that's what I don't... That's what I didn't want to have happen. Well, that's kind of actually working. Whoa, whoa. That was kind of actually working a little bit better in terms of the speed, but it was definitely uncontrollable. And it because it pushes you it pushes it up too far. Crap, let me grab it before it goes flying away. Crap. 
Yeah, it's just... If it wasn't for that freaking flat ground, it would be working fine. But you could, I mean, it, I, was, I was thinking it was going to work right there. See, like if I had another thruster or something, it might work. And then it lifted up a little bit. That's about the only, this is about the only problem. Oh, it's actually fine. Yeah, that's about the only problem right there. Is that, have to worry about that. Get Zoom in here a little bit. That's sweet looking. It actually, you know, it actually looks pretty cool, I think. I just wish that it didn't uh, hit the ground like that. But I mean, it, it, it works, you know, it works quite well, actually. Oh, no. Okay, so basically what I did to... Okay, we need to, sh we need to shut these... Uh, we can just disconnect these thr these sensors for now. Because I'm going to need that lift. Okay. So, the first thing I did was... And I don't know if I'm going to be able to completely recreate this perfectly. But the first thing I did was... I made a base... Um, that was even. I think like that. And I was testing with the controller. Yeah. Okay. And then what I did was... Um, let's see, how far apart are these? One, two, three, four, five. So, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So, just for now, I'll just get rid of that. And then, first thing I did was I made the arms that came out. And I, all they were, all they all are, is just two down. Like so. And then I put a thruster on the bottom of it and made sure that they were all, you know, similar. So like that, where they're on the corners. And then I put a controller down underneath. And I think I, well, let's see, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yep, okay. And then you saw these are set to 30. So we went red. Let's just go to all the red. Red. And red. All right. And then you just set this, the degree control over here on this side. You don't want to set anything on this side. And then just test to make sure it's fine. Okay, that's what that's the initial look right there. That's what we started with. And then it was a matter of I think I how many did I add on the back here? One, two, three. Just three. Cause in the cause in you know, I was looking at a picture of it and the seat sits back pretty far. In the, in the actual design of it. And so you need to make sure. This is kind of in the middle over here. Like that. You need to make sure that. I think I'm, I'm making this wrong actually. Maybe not. One, two. How far up is that? One, two, three. One, two, three. Actually it's fine. And uh, the seat sits up a bit. To give that kind of like cockpit look. And obviously, you know, there's glass and stuff that kind of covers it, but we don't have that ability yet. I'm sure that will come eventually. Seems like something that could simply be done. And then, okay, this was a little different. So this is one, two over. One, two, and then what I did was this right here for the steering. And then, are the thrusters on the outside? Yeah, I think I put everything on the outside so it was, so I could remember how to do it. Like that. Whoops. Wait, one, two. Is it is it two over? One, two. Yeah, it's two over. Okay. 
And uh, so this is vital to put down your steering there. And then I, let's see, took this out. This was just all guesstimation too. Two, two out. And there was a whole width of the thing. Um, yeah, it was all just kind of guessing that guesswork. All right. Like I didn't plan this out or anything really. Just kind of went for it and it managed to actually work out. That just looks weird. Doesn't it look weird? I don't know why. And then let's see. Is it hey I did I did make a, a whole block of four. A cube. A cube. Yeah, I'm, I'm I was like really surprised because I spent probably like two or three hours making another design. And then this one like worked out like pretty much right away. And I was like, oh whoa, I'm like done with this thing. <laughs> I was like, this is uh this is surprising. I thought it was gonna take me forever. Um, okay, and so then I I did have these in the corner. I don't know why, just for looks, I think, but I think it it think it does add weight and balance and stuff. So we'll make sure to put those down. There we go. There we go. And then that back is done. So then the this was all guesswork too. I didn't even really plan it out. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight up, oh wait, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 12 forward on the bit on the bottom. Let's just do it this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. 11, 12. And then I think I, what did I do to get that look? Uh, one, one, and then, okay. One, so like this, I think. Yeah, cause that, then the orange, the orange is on the top. And then I did a uh, metal. So like that, and then this was a like that, and that's it. And then I just did wood, and it looks like there's three in between there. One, two, three. That's it. All right, that's all I did. Okay. Uh, sometimes I'm, it's like I'm so sh I'm just so. I don't even know what I just said. What words just came out of my mouth right there? Um, I'm just so shocked that it's that simple, you know? Like, I, I was expecting it was going to take me forever, and uh, it did not take me long at all. I, I like these things. They, they work out really well. And then the only other thing is to add the sensors. And where did I have the sensors? On the corners. I had the sensors on the corners. Um, so they were right here I think I don't think it matters to be honest but I want to I want to replicate it as best as I possibly can and the good thing about these sensors is that where they uh, like pretty much no matter what they're they're hitting the uh, the ground which is great so then it's just a matter of connecting everything up so you connect these up we're gonna put this on a lift now Connecting everything up, so we're going to connect these, connect this. And these ones are connect. This is connected to the driver's seat because these are uh, the driving, the controllable ones. Make sure we got the steering right. I think that's going the correct way. Yeah, I I, I always get messed up on the steering. Okay, and then so the biggest thing though is balancing, balancing these, making sure everything's even. So these are set to three to counteract the thrust in the front. This is one. This is just for show, really. These in the back are two, and these are four. Yeah. And so what essentially happens is there's so much weight in the back that this is just enough thrust to lift it up, and then this is counteracting 
the weight in the back, essentially. And so that should work. Okay. Um, I can already tell right away that I made it too long in the front. It's too long. Uh, I don't know what I did. This is this does not look anywhere near the same. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my gosh, we're so off. What the heck happened? I miscounted big time. Counting wrong, that's all it is. Well, uh, I mean, you can see the design is pretty simple. I'm not going to mess around with it anymore. It's driving me crazy. Um, but that's going to go flying off. Whoops. Just sit there. Uh, maybe it's maybe it's the placement of the sensors, actually. Let's see if I can uh, put these down in the right spot and get it to work. Maybe it's the thrust. No, I don't think that was it. Did I put it in evenly, even line with uh, the arms, maybe? I don't think that matters, though. Let's just try this. No, that's definitely not the case. There's some weight issue, some weight distribution issue. Try. Oh, I should. You know, I should make a backup function. What is? I mean, it looks like it's the exact same, doesn't it? It looks the exact same. I don't understand what the issue is here. I'm so confused. I like a really am. It looks pretty much even. Oh, I do see something. The seat. The placement of the seat. Um, you can see that there's a space in the front. So this is ex this body. This body over here is extended one too many. The seat is even over here. Well, you get the idea. It's pretty simple design. Does not require much. I would love to be able to uh, transport this design into the other terrain because I think it would be a lot better because of this stupid flat ground. But yeah, the X34 land speeder. Thank you for the suggestion, Lewis. Um, I'm surprised I got it to even work and resemble it even in the slightest bit. It's not completely perfect, but no! It's not completely perfect, but it does move and it does. You can actually even control the steering on it, which is freaking awesome. And uh, it, it does have that kind of uh, concept, that kind of look to it. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and uh, give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And uh, I, I hope you guys uh, have a great day and things are going well for you in your life. And I'll see you guys in the next one.